Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on white work quick return motion mechanism by relative velocity method. In this video, we are going to draw space diagram and velocity diagram with some suitable scale. Now first, I will read what is the given problem. Diagram shows the structure of white work quick return me mechanism used in reciprocating machine tools. The various dimensions of the tool are as follows. OQ 100 mm, OP 200 mm, RQ 150 mm and RS 500 mm. The crank OP makes an angle of 60 degree with the vertical. Determine the velocity of slider S. Cutting tool when the crank rotates at 120 rpm clockwise. Find also angular velocity of link RS and the velocity of sliding block T on the slotted lever QT. So this was the given question. Now let us first draw the space diagram with suitable scale. So here we will use scale 1 is to 1. So if we observe the diagram, there are two fixed points that is the point Q as well as point O and the distance in between them is given that is OQ is equal to 100 mm. So 100 mm that means 10 cm. So we have to draw here one vertical line and we will select two fixed points O and Q at 10 cm distance apart. Now there is the crank OP which is making 60 degree angle with the vertical. So with this vertical line passing through the center O we, we have to take here 60 degree angle and we will draw one line. So this OP is given 200 millimeter that means 20 centimeter line we have to draw. Now at the end point of this P so we will consider this is the crank OP. So at the end point of P there is the slider T which is getting attached that is here the center point of this T is at the point P. So we have to draw this slider. Now the motion of this slider is along QT and that is given. That means we have to draw this slider in the direction of this Q line joining this point Q to point T. So I will draw here this slider T. So this is the center point so I will say this is the T. So this motion of this slider is along the link Q to T. Now again if we observe this is the fixed point and on this point the distance of the point R from this point P, point Q is given. So QR is equal to 150 millimeter. So if we observe this point R lies on the QT produced. So we have to extend this line QT and we have to select the point R at a distance 150 millimeter that is 15 centimeter from this point Q. So in this way point R is getting fixed. Now we have to draw one horizontal line passing through this point Q and the motion of this slider S is along the horizontal line passing through this fixed point Q. So if we show here this is the motion of this slider S. This is the reciprocating motion. So distance between R and S is given. So RS is equal to 500 millimeter that means 50 centimeter. So we have to select one arc that is if we use here the compass and we will select here R as a center point then we have to mark here the arc at a distance of 50 centimeter on this horizontal line and here we have to draw the slider S. So in this way the space diagram is getting completed. Now we will move for the calculation of linear velocity. So here the rotational speed of point P about the point O is given. So here we can say OP is the crank so it is 120 rpm. So from that we can calculate the angular speed. So omega is equal to 2 pi n by 60. So 2 pi n that is 120. So if we calculate this we will get 12.57 radians per second. So from that omega we can calculate the linear velocity. So for that linear velocity is equal to this omega multiplied by r that is the distance O to P. So OP distance is given 200 millimeter. So we have to 
Take here the distance in meter that is 0 0.2 meter. So if we multiply here 12.57 into 0 0.2 that is 2.514 meter per second. So this is the magnitude. So what about the direction? So we have to show here the direction also. So if we observe here is the link OP. So we know that the linear velocity is always in perpendicular direction to the link. But in which direction we have to take? So here the motion of this crank is given in clockwise direction. So if we observe this arrow, it is in the downward direction. So now I will draw here one perpendicular line to this link OP. So with this protractor, if we observe these two edges are perpendicular to each other. So I will align one edge with this link OP. And from the other edge, I will draw here the perpendicular line and we have to show the arrow in the same direction of this motion. That is, this downward direction. So here is the direction of the velocity of P with respect to O. So simply we can say Vp. Now we will move to draw the velocity diagram with some suitable scale. Now here we will take scale 1 meter per second is equal to 10 centimeter. So what is the velocity for this P with respect to O that is 2.514 meter per second. So what is the scale we have to take that is we have to multiply here with 10 that is 25.14 centimeter. So the direction is known so in this direction we have to draw one line and we will take the fixed point. So here point Q and point O are the two fixed points so for that we will consider here one particular point. And now I will take the line parallel to this VP and direction is the downward direction. So here in the same way I have to draw one line that is 25.14. That is this is the final point. So initial point is O and final point is P. So I will say here small p. Now at this point P there is the slider T. And this slider is having motion along the link Q to T. So here if we show the direction of motion it is parallel to this Q to T. So from this point P we have to draw one line parallel to this link Q to T passing through this point P. Why? Because this slider T is having motion along this link Q to T and this point T is attached at the end point of this crank OP. So I will draw one line parallel to this Q to T. Now exact location of this point T is unknown but here initial point is P and final point is T. So I will show arrow in the upward direction. Now here also initial point is O and final point is P and this vector OP indicates velocity of P with respect to O. So I will say VP. Now again if we observe here is the link QT. So how to show the linear velocity for this link QT. So we know that it is in the perpendicular direction of this link QT. So I will draw here one line perpendicular to this link with this protractor. So I will align one edge with the link Q to T and from the other edge I will draw here one construction line. So here is the point Q. So one point is the fixed point Q I have already shown. So now we don't know where is the exact direction that is in upward direction or in downward direction. So first I will draw the line parallel to this construction line but passing through the point Q because this is the direction of the linear velocity for this link of QT. So if we observe, if we draw this line in the downward direction here is the point of intersection and this point of intersection is nothing but the point T. So here the initial point is P, final point is T. So we can say that the velocity of T with respect to P. That is the vector PT. And here is vector Q to T. So here if I show arrow, initial point is Q, final point is T. Here the velocity of T with respect to Q. That is VTQ. Now again if we observe here how to locate the point. 
point R. So this point R is on the link QT extended. So here in the same way we have to extend this link QT. So it is in opposite direction of this QT. So again I will uh, extend this link QT in the opposite direction. Now where is the exact location for this point R? So we will refer this diagram. So if we observe, uh, we don't know where is the exact location. So we will uh, take the ratio. So ratio of QT divided by QR. So I will take ratio QT divided by QR. Now here is also we have to take the same ratio because this direction, this Velocity diagram is taken with this with some scale with this space diagram. So I will take here same ratio that is QT divided by QR. Now we will put the value. So here distance in between Q to T. So it is not directly given in the question. So we have to measure with scale. So our scale is 1 is to 1. So if we measure this distance, it is 270 millimeter. And what is the distance Q to R? So it is given with 150 millimeter. So we have to take this. Then which is equal to QT divided by QR. So in this velocity diagram, what is the distance in between point Q and T? So we have to measure with this distance with scale. So if we measure, it is 23 centimeter. So these two distances are in millimeter. So this millimeter, millimeter is getting cancelled. And this distance 23 is in centimeter. So what is the value of QR? So if we calculate, QR is equal to 12.77 centimeter. So we have to plot here the distance of R from this point Q that is at a distance of 12.77 centimeter. I will show as also. So the initial point is Q and final point is R. So I will say velocity of R with respect to point Q. Now again we will find out what is the velocity for the link RS because R is connected to link RS. So again I have to draw here one perpendicular line with the help of protractor. So this is the construction line in the form of dash. So we have to take the line parallel to this construction line but passing through the point R. So we don't know where is the exact direction for this perpendicular line. So from both sides I will draw here the line passing through the point R. Now again here is the slider S and this slider is having reciprocating motion along a horizontal line which is passing through this point Q. So how we have to show this reciprocating motion along a horizontal line? So we have to show this same direction that is same horizontal line but passing through the point Q. So I will draw here one horizontal line passing through the point Q. So this point of intersection is nothing but the point S. So here initial point is Q. Why? Because Q is the fixed point. And with respect to fixed point, this slider S is getting reciprocated. So I have to show arrow from Q towards S. And how I will define this vector QS that is the velocity of S with respect to Q. Now what about to R to S? So here initial point is R and final point is S. So I have to show arrow in the downward direction. So how I define this Rs vector Rs that is the velocity of S with respect to R. So here is the velocity diagram. Now we will move for the calculation part. So first question is that we have to find out the velocity of this slider S. So how to find out? So this velocity of slider S is along this horizontal line passing through the point Q. So in the velocity diagram we have to measure the length of the vector Q to S. So what is this vector Q to S? That is 8.5 cm. So here is the scale 1 meter per second is equal to 10 cm. So for 8.5 cm velocity of slider S V S is equal to 0 0.85 meter per second. Now the second question is that the angular velocity of the R S. So here is the link R S and we have to find out the angular velocity. So for that we will measure here the 
length of the link R to S. So here what is the length? That is 8.8 cm. So again if we measure this R S then according to this scale we will say that the linear velocity of S with respect to R is equal to 0.88 meter per second. Now we will find out the omega that is the angular velocity. So this velocity multiplied by the length of the link RS that is 0.88 divided by 0.5. So here the length we have to consider in meter. So 1.76 rad per second. Now if we observe this velocity is always in perpendicular direction to the link. And here the direction is in the downward direction. So we have to show the same direction. So this is the perpendicular line. So I will show this is the downward direction and this is the VSR. Now we have to find out for this angular velocity what is the direction. So we can how we will define this VSR that is the velocity of this point S about point R. So here R is the center. So if I will take here R as a center then move the compass in the downward direction. So I will show here so this is the direction. So we can say that for this angular velocity direction is clockwise about center R. So about R. So here is the answer that we have to write. Then the third question is that the velocity of T along the link QT. So we know that here T is the slider and that is getting oscillating along the bar this QT. So how we can show this? So we know that here is the motion of T of or slider along the bar QT that is in this direction. So this is the oscillating motion and in the velocity diagram we have to show motion as it is that is in the same direction. So for this QT which line is parallel? So here the vector PT is parallel to this motion of the T. So here we will measure this vector P to T. So vector P to T is 13.5 cm. So with this scale 1 meter per second is equal to 10 cm. We will convert velocity of T is equal to 1.35 meter per second along the link Q to T.